When I was 18 years old, I scaled my home renovation business to $30,000 a month in revenue. And this video is gonna be kind of long. This is completely raw. It's unscripted, everything. So if you have the attention span of a TikToker, then leave this video right now. So this service business is literally perfect for every young man that wants to make some money. Perhaps you're 16, 17, 18, whatever, however old you are, you can probably make 15 to $20,000 this summer. So what I did was home renovations and landscaping and I would renovate homes. I would paint the walls. I would put flooring down. I'd do all that stuff. And for the landscaping, I would put sod down. I would do tree trimming, bush trimming, everything. And if you are a young man, you don't have the skill set to renovate homes. I get it. I'm just blessed because my dad taught me how to do all that stuff. But most of you guys can do landscaping. It's pretty easy. And if you can stack up enough landscaping jobs, you know, on one day, bro, you could pull in a thousand dollars a day. If you have, you know, five, four, you know, 200, $300 landscaping jobs that day. So what I'm going to do is kind of make a little video on a step-by-step -step process of how to start your own business. So step one is getting your flyers and making a website. So these are door hangers. These are literally perfect. What you want to do is you want to walk around your neighborhood or wherever you live at and hang up a bunch of door flyers. I, I have like a freaking thousand. Like you just need to hang up a whole bunch. And this is what they should say. This is the most critical part. And you should seriously take notes on this because I would put down, we are a father and son who started a home renovation business to help serve our community. We founded our principles on three main principles, quality, pricing, and service. We provide uh, blah, 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 a bunch of bullshit. And then our website and phone number. My dad didn't help me. You just have to put your dad helps you. That way the business seems like established, you know, because if you're a young kid, 16, 17, however old you are, and you pull up to a job site and they, they just think it's you, they're gonna be like, what the fuck? Like this kid ain't gonna be able to renovate my fucking house or some shit. But if you put... Oh yeah, my this is about yeah, me, my dad, me, my dad did this shit. Then they're gonna be like, oh okay, yeah, yeah. And if you have an excellent dad like mine, he will pull up to the job with you just to show face. Sometimes my dad will pull up to jobs like bids with me. A bid is when you go out and you like price things. Sometimes my dad would pull up with me, and he wouldn't even do anything. He would not come to the job, he wouldn't, he wouldn't do any work, he would just show face. That way it's like more recognition. And then when I get there, they're like, where's your dad at? I'm like, oh yeah, he's just he can't work today, he's sick, or some shit like that. And then I do the job and then I get paid. Boom! So if you have have a good dad like that, then do that. But with the landscaping, you, it, it doesn't really have to be like that. Um, you don't have to put that for your dad because landscaping is kind of like easy. So it, it's nothing too like trustworthy, if that makes sense. So yeah, you don't have to put home renovation. If you don't do home renovation, if you don't have the skill set, just put landscaping. You can still make a lot of money doing landscaping. Now, after the flyers, you need to make your website, but don't forget to put your website on your flyers. Your website should have pictures, what your guys' business is about. If you don't have pictures because you've never done the job before, then find pictures off Google or go to your house house, do like redo your house or something. If you paint walls, go paint a bedroom, go do some landscaping on a bush or something, take a before and after, put a bunch of before and after pictures on your thing, and then put some reviews on there. So it should be like your main website, you know, your name below that should have pictures of your work below that should have like reviews. Like it, you, you can literally just make up the reviews. And just say they're all five stars, some shit. And then below the reviews, you should have like a paragraph of what your business is about. And then below that, you should have like where they can contact you at. So your phone number, they sh you should ha also have like a submission page so they can leave a submission on, the on your website and then it'll automatically go to your email. And it they should fill out like what they need, their phone number, their email, things like that. That way you can contact them. So that's step one. Now step two is once this stuff comes in the mail, you need to go hand out as many as you can. And I understand we all have, like most people have social anxiety. Handing out flyers and door-to-door -door sales was absolute ass for me, but I still did it anyways because the shit needs to be done. So what you're gonna do is walk up, boom, 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 knock on the door, and if no one's home, then you can hang this up. But if someone's home, you're gonna have to try and sell them. You're gonna say something like, hey, sir, I saw this was here, blah, blah, blah. Sell them on your service. Ask them if they need work done, something like that. There's a full course on how to sell. Uh, I made I made some video that's clearly completely free on YouTube on how to sell. It's somewhere on my channel. I'll put the link in the description. Also, in Fitness University, I have a whole, like, there's literally two hours footage of me talking a complete step by step. Also, has like sales scripts and stuff, stuff like that inside of it. Now, you need to hand out as many flyers that you can afford. So if you can afford to buy a thousand different flyers, go buy a thousand different flyers and hand them all out. Now, if you have social anxiety, you don't want to do door to door sales. I get it. One thing that helps is wearing a hat and sunglasses. I used to do that all the time. But now if you can't do door to door sales, you're just a pussy, then go and just hang these up on a bunch of houses. That'll still work. But it's much easier to get clients if you actually do door to door and you actually talk to them and show face and all that stuff. Something I missed in step one is you have to establish the services that you're going to offer. Like, are you going to offer 
pressure washing, landscaping, bush trimming, sod laying, lawn service, something like that. Now, I will warn you guys about lawn care. The ROI, the return on investment on like lawn care is absolute shit. Well, the time on return on investment, whatever the fuck, however you say it. Because if you go out and you load up your lawnmower, you put it on the trailer, and you have to buy a trailer, and you do all the shit. If you go out, you load up on your trailer, then you drive 30 minutes of stuff, you load up all your equipment, your weed whacker, all that stuff, you get to the job, and you cut the grass, it takes you an hour and a half, or an hour, whatever, and for what, $50, you're going to charge them like $100 a month to cut their grass or something? Uh, $50? You done spent two hours loading up your shit and all that stuff. You done spent three, four hours for 50 bucks. It's not worth it at all. Now, the only way it could be worth it is if you line up like all of your lawns on like a Saturday and then you go load up, boom, and then knock out like every single yard on a Saturday and just rack up cash. That I could see. But if you only have like freaking two or three yards, there's no point doing lawn care. It's just the time on return on investment is just not much. Because when you do a bush job, like say you're trimming some bushes, you just load up your shit Boom, done, three seconds, and you come, cut the bush, boom, 100 bucks, bam, you're out. It's pretty, it's relatively easy. There's not much hassle involved in it, but lawn care is just not worth it to me. All right, now step three is the marketing, and flyers, of course, come into marketing, but the next thing we're gonna talk about is Facebook ads. So what I would do is I would make a Facebook page. I would post all my work on my Facebook I'd post, I'd post all my work on my Facebook page and then I would dedicate 20% of my profits to Facebook ads. So say I did a job for a thousand dollars and I had equipment that cost me 200 and I profited $600. I don't know. I put like $120 or however the percentage comes out into Facebook ads. That way people from my town see it because you can target your Facebook ads. You can target the age group. So most homeowners that are, that won't work done for their house are probably like 30 to 50, 60, 70 years old. So you can target age groups. You can target genders as well. And you can also target the area that you're in and phone numbers, things like that. It'd be perfect. That's why I love Facebook ads. The next best way to market is this app called Nextdoor. Nextdoor is like a social media platform for a bunch of old old fucks that just want to complain. It's literally perfect. So Nextdoor is just where a bunch of your neighbors and your neighborhood, stuff like that, get in so they can just complain about shit. It's stupid as fuck, but you can post your business in it and all these old people that own the homes are like oh yeah i need a landscape or whatever they need so you'll make a post in your, in your thing saying hey my name's xyz i have a home renovation i have a landscaping company here's my number here's my website if you need work done call me out bids are free all this stuff and then you can get people to do that now the best thing for for like getting reviews and getting more business more leads so someone you're potentially gonna do business with is called a lead so what you're gonna do is once you do a job you're going going to get that person that you did the job for to review your service on next door and even make a post for your service on next door. So if someone posts, Hey, this company XYZ did a really good job on my house. They cut my bushes. They trim my trees, whatever. Here's their website. Here's their phone number, bro. Literally. That's how I got 80% of my business. I say 80% of my business was from like referrals from next door, word of mouth. Yeah. And then 20% came from the Facebook ads. So the Facebook ads aren't that significant, but next door is literally the app you need to be using for marketing. So those are the three key parts to getting business and getting leads. You have Facebook ads, you have next door and you have door to door sales and then, you know, flyers, whatever. Thank you for watching this video. If you need help starting your own business, then DM my Instagram account business and I can help you.